Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and even the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have another box from Travel Lisa which is a quarterly travel subscription out of Canada. It is 99 Canadian, which is a little over $80 US, plus $10 Canadian shipping in Canada. It's only $15 to ship to the US, so I think that's a pretty good deal. And I do, of course, have a coupon code for you. It's Noelle VIP. That'll save you $10 Canadian. And I should have an updated affiliate link by the time this video posts, but definitely check it out just in case the code has changed as well. Now, this box was sent to me for review, and the box also always takes us to a different destination or a different kind of vacation and you guys travel boxes have really kept me sane over the past couple of years because I used to be an avid traveler but I've pretty much been right here in San Diego for the past two years I'm definitely ready to get out there and explore again have some trips planned for the new year that I'm hoping don't get postponed or canceled yet again so fingers crossed on that front but I've really loved getting to explore some other cultures countries through these different Different subscription boxes because they all have sort of a different take on it so let's go ahead and see what we have for this winter box from Travelista so you guys, I'm very excited because I am filming this in usually sunny San Diego, but today it is raining outside, which means probably a bunch of boxes are getting delivered to me because they always manage to pick the uh, couple of hours when it's raining to deliver my boxes into puddles. So the little postcard that I'll show you, now they have these collectible postcards that come in each Travelista box, it says, greetings from paradise. So I don't know if it's a specific paradise destination or just beautiful beach destinations in general. General. It says, time to escape the freezing temperatures of the north and fly down for a tropical getaway. Grab your swimsuit and sunglasses and join me in paradise this winter. XO Ainsley. So it says, hey, Travelista, and collect our postcards. If you collect eight different destinations or themes, so destinations or themes, um, you can claim a free box. So basically, if you're a subscriber for two years, that's kind of their loyalty program, you'll actually get a free quarter, which I think is kind of cool. I need to start collecting these all in one place, and you'll see they actually provide a nice way to collect the postcards. So then inside we just have some plain white tissue paper and the little Travelista box sticker. Um, there is a quote there on the front of the box that says, travel far enough, you meet yourself. And that's from David Mitchell and that is so true. Not only do you learn a lot about yourself when you travel, you learn a lot about your travel companions, right? So <laughs> that is definitely true. So your travel documents, they have this nice folder that they always do because they actually make kind of an itinerary, lots of travel suggestions for you, as well as the fun lifestyle products that appear in the box to go along with. So let's open up our little thing. So there looks to be like a little insert from probably one of the vendors in here, but it's so pretty, this nice little folder. You could definitely use this for your travel documents if you don't have one already. I have a couple travel document folders that I like to use when I travel. So we have our winter in paradise guide so this is what that looks like nice drone footage there so it says on the inside it says there's a box contest so you can do a winning picture or video and you'll get a traveler's gift pack valued at $80 so there's still time to get this box too you guys don't don't be afraid to uh, get the winter box just because the holidays are over doesn't necessarily mean that the winter is right there's a paradise crossword it kind of reminds me of those uh, travel magazines that used to always be in the back pocket of the uh, airlines but then on your return trip you're like yeah I already read this magazine so I mean, you always wanted to do it on the cusp of another month so you get a new issue on the way back home. We have an interview with uh, Oliver Carbonic, who is an Air Canada pilot, so that's kind of cool. And then we have this list of the top, uh, top 11, not top 10, but top 11, little bonus one in there, tropical vacations. So let me go ahead and uh, read them off to you and you guys tell me in the comments below which of these would be the top of your list. So let's go in reverse order starting with number 11, Bali, Indonesia, uh, 10, the Cook Islands, 9, Kauai, Hawaii, I'm partial to that one even though I'm from Maui, um, 8, St. Lucia, 7, Whitsunday Islands, uh, 6, Turks and Caicos, 5, Fiji Islands, 4, Phuket, Thailand, 
three, the Seychelles, uh, two, the Maldives, that's kind of one of my top ones, and of course there's like a billion beaches because there's like so many islands there, and then number one, number one is Bora Bora Tahiti in French Polynesia, so let me know in the comments below, like I said, which would be the top one on your list, or maybe it wasn't even on that top uh, list, I wonder how they came up with that, if it's just the, like, the ones most visited, or the ones that are on people's wish lists, I think I've been lucky enough to visit many of those places, but there's still some there that are on my wish list. Now the other brochure that came in that little folder says what's in your box. So this is going to be our guide for the box itself that I'll be referencing as we go through. So it says this winter we're taking you to a tropical escape right in your own home. Whether you're staying home this winter or heading down south, we know this box will give you the paradise you're looking for. If you are getting on a jet plane to paradise, you will find in this box just what you need stay tropical travelista so here is a picture of her it looks like she's in cabo in this picture looks like looks like cabo to me so um inside we have images of all of the different items maybe she got to do some research and some shopping in cabo um they didn't have any Mexican beaches on there. I was kind of surprised by that. So even if you aren't going on a tropical vacation, obviously this can get you kind of dreaming and planning for when you are able to go. And these will all be items that you could probably use even at home in the summertime. So the item that I'm seeing right on top, well, it says wash. So I'm guessing it's like a laundry bag, which I love packing cubes. I love laundry bags. Anything to keep your, uh, your travel suitcase or bags kind of organized is really helpful, especially if there's multiple stops on your trip so let me go ahead and open this up it's very soft it's very big too so wow oh so it's got two compartments that makes sense so wash and wear so it's for your undergarments you can kind of see there's some little faint um lingerie pictures so cute so, and then you can fold it so it's got zippers on both sides so then it folds up into a little square so let's see what it says about this wash and wear bag perfect for any vacation when you need to separate your delicates and bathing suits we had this specifically designed for the travelista box choosing the fabric and bag design to ourselves be sure to pack this on your next trip it's a lifesaver and big enough for any type of vacation and so they put the value on this of 19.95 again that is in canadian so the only thing that would be nice is if it was like a wet bag because then you could put that up you know you want to wear your bathing suit on the last day of your beach vacation but then you got to throw in your bag so you could have a dry bag or a wet bag but separately but this is great for just you know your your under things to keep those all organized which I actually think is really nice so it's a very like lightweight um, material as well so it seems like it's not gonna add a lot of heft to your bag which is important so let's see what else we have uh, flight food. So this is the item that had a little insert in the folder. Strawberry lemon. It's an in-flight elixir. The healthy travel drink mix. So it's pretty cute. It's got these like little airplanes in the background. So let me read what this flight food is. It's a Canadian women-owned company we're so proud to partner with. Knowing all of the things that happen to your body on a flight. Cosmic radiation, dehydration, impaired circulation, and more. These women have designed an elixir to help with all of these issues. Being made up of all food, be sure to bring these elixirs on your next flight and read the flyer provided in your travel documents. So that is what this is. Um, so it has a retail value of, this says uh, $32 US. So wow, that's pretty pricey. So it looks like it has little individual packets inside. I'll probably open it up to show you guys over on Instagram, but I don't want to like ruin this nice packaging right now until I can cut it nice and clean. But you can kind of see, it looks like they're just little like packets of probably a powder that you can easily add to your water. So it says mix one travel pack a flight elixir into 8 to 16 ounce of water it tastes just like flavored water um so it's, let's see what it's got it's got kamu kamu for immune support coconut water for hydration and electrolyte replenishment um oh tart cherry to reduce the impact of jet lag papaya and inulin prebiotic to minimize bloating and support gut health goji berries to support circulation and chlorella and spirulina to protect and detoxify your body from cosmic radiation so i don't know if that's everything that's in there because if the, if so that's like a ton of stuff so yeah it looks like that's everything that's in there it's got all of the like ingredients and all of those like bullet points listed right here so super cool so this is in the flavor strawberry lemon which does sound delicious and it looks like we have eight packages in this bag so you could take the whole bag with you or obviously you could take it out and uh, have just one or two in your purse so you could have one on each flight all right we've got something else a bag within a bag this is pretty cute you guys 
So I actually kind of needed another one of these. So this is a Flamingo hanging toiletry bag. So this looks to be also from Travelista. It says, pack your bags Flamingo style. Always a handy traveler's item when you can fill all, fit all toiletry, bath and body and beauty products in one bag, hang on the door or in the shower or on vacation. Has a retail value of $17. So it's actually really pretty. So it's got this kind of dusty blue background with some uh, palm leaves, palm fronds, and then some really cute little uh, flamingos. They kind of look like they have big feet, but I think it's just supposed to be like part of the reflection, part of the ground that they're standing on. So it just says travel. Travel with is always diving into the different and new world. Wow, that was really hard to read. It does have a nice little handle. It's kind of got like a satiny feel to it. So it's a nice thick fabric. Um, it's got uh, zippers, two zipper poles. So it goes in opposite directions. It's got this nice hanger here. You can see this is a see-through plastic pouch right here. Let me see. I think mine's like mine's a little bit like crooked, stitched in there a little bit crooked, but maybe I just have to open this part up a little bit more. So there we go. So I got that to work. So we got these nice zipper pulls all around. Then we have a nice zipper pouch right here. And then these are individual like mesh pouches right here. We could put individual tubes so you can see everything, which is kind of cool. And then this bottom part is another um, mesh covering. And then inside of this mesh covering, let me show you, there's these like uh, rubber bands, like these elastic pieces that can kind of keep your bottles upright which is super nice obviously so then when you are packing everything back up you have your bottles on that bottom part so you would want that and then you'd have the handle on the top so I actually have one of these the stitches are starting to pull out of it because I always pack it so gosh darn full so I'm actually really happy to have that and it's actually a cute one so I've definitely gotten them before where they felt a little bit janky maybe not like they were gonna last forever and that one actually feels like pretty good quality so so far that is my favorite item in this lovely box we got something that we see a lot of in the summertime, which is appropriate, of course, for this uh, paradise uh, box. It is from Ist Home, made with love in Turkey. Have you guessed yet? It is 100% natural cotton. Yes, my friends, it is a Turkish towel. So we have lots of Turkish towels in my house. I have gifted a lot of Turkish towels because they're a very popular subscription box item for the same reason that they are so great to travel with. They're very lightweight, they dry very fast, and they are fun to use. So this is a really pretty color. It is a Turkish towel in tropical mint. So everybody got the same color as a retail value of 45 Canadian. So that seems a little bit high to me in all honesty. But again, this is one of the values of getting a subscription box where you get all of these awesome products at a discounted price. So handmade in Turkey, this hand woven cotton Turkish towel is great for any beach day. It's easy to roll up fast drying and soft enough to lay on. We chose this very vibrant tropical mint color to stand out at the beach or give you some tropical inspiration right at home. Towels are pre-washed and can be used outdoors or indoors for bathroom use as well. So I have actually used Turkish towels in my home like once upon a time because they do again dry so quickly. So cute little like twisted uh, tassels. So that's one of the like things that sometimes varies from Turkish towel to Turkish towel. This is a really really pretty color. Like I like this uh, vibrant mint that they chose. So that is a good item. I will add it to my very colorful collection of Turkish towels that I have. Then we got something else that's kind of a nice essential to uh, have. So it is a book by Libby Hubshire, and I actually have this book because it was a Once Upon a Book Club selection. So I've definitely read it, uh, even though I'm very behind on that book subscription. Don't worry, guys. That's one of my resolutions is to get caught up. So definitely be seeing some book reviews coming in soon. So it's called Meet Me in Paradise. It is a fun uh, romance book. It was like a really easy read. It's a perfect beach read in all honesty. So let's see it says how could we send you to paradise without a light read great for the beach or snuggled up at home with tea or coffee Marion code has never seen the ocean climbed a mountain taken a risk on love but if her sister's plan works she just might do all three so very very cute um so i i thought this book was cute i'll probably pass it on to someone else i think i still have my copy of it but that is a perfect uh, beach read uh let's see what else we have this looks like a cookie cutter so oh my gosh it's so cute it says from the sue shop uh Yes, indeed it is. It's tropical cookie cutters, you guys. So uh, have you seen some people out there have the most amazing cookie decorating skills? Like they, people are doing like airbrushing and like it's, I mean, it's a piece of art. Like you would feel terrible eating it in all honesty. So we got two of them. I don't do a lot of like roll out cookie cutter cookies anymore. I used to be a huge baker, but I used to have a much bigger kitchen, but I used to make gingerbread and sugar cookies and all the things. But 
I will hold on to these for one day when I maybe am a baker again because we got an adorable palm tree. Love that. Let me just show you the uh, gorgeous icing on these palm trees. Like they're, they're so nice. They did so much detail on them. Or the one you guys know I'm going to love the most. Of course, we have a pineapple. So one day, maybe I will like make thank you cookies for all of you subscribers. But we got a pineapple and a palm tree. Those are both really adorable. It says, enjoy baking tropical style this season. Get creative and enjoy some cookies while imagining you're on the beach. You now have everything you need to make it feel tropical at home. The retail value on this is $8. So that seems totally fair to me. Um, and that's kind of appropriate also for the holiday season, right? When you might be baking cookies, you might be like, maybe that's how you're going to gift somebody their vacation that they don't get to go on for a couple of months and you're like I made you these cookies to tell you that I'm taking you to the Maldives that would be pretty awesome that'd be like my favorite cookies ever <laughs> and then finally you guys you know what we need to have to make this box perfect we have it it is from Lolita's. It is a candle in lime coconut palm. It's hand poured in Vancouver, British Columbia. Small batch with this beautiful sunset and palm tree on the top. Nice, good size too. I think this is probably like a four ounce candle, maybe even more. So, oh, it smells like the beach. It smells like suntan lotion, right? It's got that like nice coconutty um, scent to it and a, a little hint of lime to keep it from being too, too, too sweet. So it says hand poured in Richmond, British Columbia. This is the ultimate paradise vacation smell. We know this winter many of you love candles and what better way to take you to the tropics than with the scent of coconuts, lime, and palm trees. Maybe even light your candle while you read your book to give this ultimate to have the ultimate escape right at home. Sorry guys, the, the background image is like a little bit stronger than some of the font, so I'm kind of like having to squint to read some of it. But that completes our box. I love that some of the items are definitely things that you can use right now and are actually very appropriate for the holiday season, like a candle that then transports you to that beach, like the cookie cutters, because a lot of people are doing some holiday baking. Um, so overall, great box. I think um, I will definitely use quite a few of the items and it definitely kind of went with that more general theme versus a specific destination. Um, so we got our Turkish towel in a very pretty color. We got our flight elixir, a little like, kind of a travel tech kind of thing but not tech but you know what I mean like a travel tool and I do like that in terms of like travel boxes that do include a lot of like travel items I usually prefer when it's more focused on the destination and the travel items because a lot of the travel items I already have um, but in this case in this box like the few things that are for traveling like the wash and wear bag the flamingo hanging toiletry bag and the flight elixir like I will actually use all of those so pretty cool we got the lime coconut palm candle the flamingo hanging toiletry bag which I think is actually my favorite thing our book, which is a great book. So unfortunately, I've already read it, but it's a great gift to share with someone else. It's a good thing to share with your girlfriend. You guys could always swap, swap books when you uh, have finished your first one our wash and wear bag and then finally the tropical cookie cutters so overall good box we got a total of seven items let me know what you guys thought let me know what your favorite item in this box was let me know also because i'm sure that she'll uh take a peek at the comments do you prefer more destination or theme items or do you like to have one or two like travel items and tools as well i like a good mixture but like i said i usually like to be more destination a little bit lighter on the travel tools just in case uh, to prevent any duplicates Thank you so much for sending this box to me for a review, Travelista. I hope to keep working with you in the future and keep traveling with you through your subscription box. And thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all very soon in my next unboxing.